All right, so you guys are always asking me how I package my eBay orders. Well, let's find out. All right, so we got a couple orders going out today, right? We've got the Apple Mac OS, 2454 for that cost was a dollar. Uh, we have Final Fantasy, Stormblood, the expansion game, 2487. Cost for that was five bucks. Uh, we have these Pearl Izumi uh, mountain bike shoes. If you watched one of my previous videos, this is something I got at Goodwill. Uh, the cost was t 12 bucks, so it was a little up there, but still got 60 for it. And then last but not least, we have these uh, vegan gummies. Uh, one bottle, 924, my cost was free. This was in a wholesale trial lot that we had purchased. So let's find out how we're gonna ship it. All right, so we got a couple orders that we're gonna package up today, right? You guys always ask me how I do it. So here we go. So first things first, we got this PS4 Stormblood game, sold for about 25 bucks. My cost was five. This is gonna go first class, very light. Next thing are these vegan gummies, right? Adult organic multivitamin. I got these for free as part of a wholesale trial. So these are also going to go first class. Cost me nothing. These sold for about 10 bucks. We have this Mac OS uh, computer software. I bought it for, I think my cost was literally like less than a quarter on it. Uh, sold for 25. That's going to go first class as well. And then you guys saw these in the last video. These are from the Goodwill. These are the mountain bike shoes, the Pearl Izumi. Very, very good condition. Very nice. Like I said, these were pretty much almost brand new. There wasn't really many comps on it. I kind of comped it wherever I wanted to do, which was about 65 bucks, which is what I thought was fair based on everything else. And uh, they sold for 60, so perfect. So we got those four, and we're gonna need a couple things to package those up, right? Bubble wrap, simple. We're also gonna need some poly mailers. Now I do 12 by 15 or 15 and a half, whatever the dimension is. I'd rather have extra space and not have enough, right? And then we're also going to need these bad boys. Air defenders. These are air pockets. I use these for pretty much almost everything because I use it with a poly mailer. It comes very, very nice and secure. Everything comes very, like, it, just, it looks good. It feels good. You can tell, like, it's cheap, too. Like, 330 of these cost you nine bucks. So, we'll see how it looks in the end. Let's do it. Now, the gummies, gummies are going to be super simple. Let me get this down a little bit. Boom. Okay. All right. So, with the gummies, Make sure I'm in focus and make sure we're good on this. This is my first time using the camera actually for videos. Ha. All right, cool. So I'm just going to wrap it up a little bit like this here. Boom, something simple. Get a little piece of tape. Get out of here, buddy. Boom, just a little bit right here. Now as far as this, right, it's going to be looking nice. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take my card, right, boom. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to wrap this bad boy. So I'm going to go one two, right, and we're going to come around the bottom, boom, some people might say, oh, it's a waste of, oh, it's a waste of supplies, and no, it's not, it costs hardly anything, looks good, feels good, so nothing's getting into that, nothing's happening with that, so now we're going to take this, now the next step is fairly simple, we got these air pockets and all we're going to do is surround our package in it, right? So this is something I've been doing for quite some time. I really enjoy it. I, I feel like the customer, I've gotten so, I can't tell you how many comments I've gotten from customers just saying, oh, you packaged this so well. You didn't have to spend that much on packaging. Like no, not knowing that I really didn't spend anything hardly at all. All right. So that's, that's the first step, right? So simple, you know, and obviously I don't need to really put the sides. What I would usually do is I would usually take this, put it on here, take this, put it on there tape it up, and then you got yourself literally something that nothing is going to get through. They get this feeling all happy. So, But we don't really need that right now because we do have our bubble wrap. We're going to be extra mile because it is, a, you know, like a plastic kind of container. So what we'll do, we already got our card in there. So now we'll just take our shrink wrap, right? Just quickly go around the outside. Bada bing. Come over here real fast. The other side, boom. Boom. All right, come on. Come on, buddy. All right, easy peasy. Look at that. Looks good. Boom. Put this bad boy in there. Poly mailers cost you 10 cents. These things are far less than, like I said, you get 330 of them for uh, nine bucks. So, boom, that's out of here. We'll just fold this bad boy down. All right. That's, that's always the first part. Now we want to make it a little pretty with that eBay tape, right? So you got your eBay tape, which you get for having a store. They give you uh, coupons every, every quarter. So, we'll come over here. I always put it along the crease, kind of kill two birds with one stone. Just wrap it right around the side. Boom. 
So now, we look good. We look good, we feel good. We didn't spend much money, we kept it as light as possible. And then when you weigh this bad boy, let's see what it weighs. Now, while we're on the subject of weight, I highly recommend this scale. It's an AccuTech. It's from Amazon. It goes up to 110 pounds. You're going to need something that you're going to be able to weigh heavy boxes on when you kind of scale your business. So this thing works like an absolute champ. It comes with the uh, you know little monitor right there. So I love this thing. This should be probably around like eight ounces or so, give or take. Yeah, 7.6. So we're going to call that eight. You never want to round down. Some people do, and you'll get away with it, but I don't recommend it. So eight ounces. Now for the CD, we're gonna do pretty much the same thing, right? We got our card. You always wanna get a card, a thank you, some kind of something that's kind of like personalized just to kind of let them, you know, feel like they're buying something from somebody and, and you know, being thanked for their order. And you know, just it kinda, of, I like it, right? So, put a little piece of tape like usual, bam, right? So we got that bad boy ready to go. Now we wanna get the air pockets. So, the way I do it, I just kinda of leave this big old pile out here, put this in the back, boom. And I put it actually here. Well, uh, I was gonna shrink wrap it, but I'm already gonna shrink wrap the air pockets on the outside. So we won't do that this time, right? So we'll just take this, fold it over, and then you wanna find out where it cuts. So it stops here, boom. You wanna take two extra ones for the sides. So we can get this out of here, right? All right, make sure we're still good. All right, cool. So let's take this. These are gonna be by themselves. So simple enough, same thing right there. Get a piece of tape, boom. That right here. Boom. All right, so we have our tops, right? So now we want to do the sides. Sides are relatively simple. Pull out this little piece of tape. I always do it like this. I always put it right to the side like this. Put this bad boy on its side. Put it over. Boom. And I hold it up against the wall. Another little piece of tape. Boom. Put it right here. Same thing. Boom. So again, we've got something super comfortable. Nothing to get through this bad boy. Last but not least, same thing, poly mailer, boom. And as you as you start to do this and the camera's not here, you can do it super fast. And when you see your rates at the end of the month, as far as how much you saved on shipping, not using boxes that take up a bunch of extra ounces and all sorts of other stuff, it's a it's a big, it's a big difference, right? So same thing, fold it over, let it look nice and neat. Boom. Grab your handy dandy eBay tape. That should be about good. Lay it right across that fold, right across the side. Oh, look at that. Like a glove. So, how much does it weigh? I'm going to go ahead and say probably like three point something ounces. Let's see. Man, we close. 2.9. So, 2.9 it is. We're going to call that uh, We're going to call that three or possibly four. I think three and four are going to be the exact same. So, if so, I'm going to go to four because it does you no difference uh, putting extra postage on if you're paying the same price. So, I'll do that sometimes just to be safe. Um, I'm going to cut it kind of close. 2.9 and three. The label I'm using is not going to be, uh, you know, 0.1. It'll, it'll, it'll be at three, perfectly fine. But I think three and four are going to be the same. We'll, we'll check it out in a little bit. So stay tuned. Video game, basically the same thing. We're going to start off with the bubble wrap. Uh, usually I would kind of chop it down a little bit, but this was the last little piece I had. And cutting like a little couple corners here and there is not really going to do me any good. Just going to waste me some time. So let's go ahead and stick first of all the card inside. Boom. I want to give it a little extra padding anyways because it is a video game case and it's brand new. It's sealed. I don't want uh, anything to kind of happen to it. So, boom, put that right there. Now, what I'll do is I'll fold this side over to get extra padding on the top, right? And then I'll fold this side over to get extra padding on the bottom. We won't worry about uh, taping it right now. So, let's just get a couple, couple little turns with the shrink wrap. Boom, boom. One more this way just for the heck of it. All right. So now, the game's good, right? The game, the game feels good. Even if you were to put in the poly mailer like this, you, you might be decently okay. I would highly suggest against it, because look, so you can kind of feel the case here. So, we want to give it a little extra protection, which is what we're going to do now. So, same thing, grab the air pockets, right? Easy peasy. Put this bad boy over here. We're going to connect it. So right here, you find, you find where they connect, rip it off, and then you want one, of course, for each side. Boom. All right, so we'll move this over, get out of here. All right, let's get a little piece of tape. All right, boom. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so now we wanna get the wings, right? We wanna get the old wingy wings. So not much, same thing, a little piece right here. Boom, just give it a nice little side piece right there. We'll use this as a little, little crutch, boom. Put this in here, boom. All right, so now that's good, all right? So we're gonna take the last step, a little shrinky shrink.
Now again, some of you guys might say, Jerry, I don't want to use shrink wrap. I don't want to use a bunch of extra stuff. I just want to well, do whatever you want to do. You know what I mean? This is what I do. This is what makes me feel comfortable. I've never had an issue, never had anything wrong, and I've got such good feedback on the way I package everything. All right, so we're right at five. So this, I'm pretty sure between five and six, it's going to change as far as the price goes. So we might end up losing on this one, or we might just call it five and take a gamble, to be honest with you probably gonna end up doing that so we'll see I'm gonna write five to six on it and then uh, we'll go from there now last but not least are the mountain bike shoes and these are gonna go one of two ways they're either gonna go in a regional box or just a regular uh, priority box so we shall see right now now the unfortunate part for the shoes is the regional a is the boxes are too small to fit the shoes right the regional B is too expensive because it's going to California California is like 20 bucks also, the other downside is this is right at the two pound limit. So if we can keep it under two pounds, it'll greatly reduce the postage versus slightly above two pounds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm putting in just a regular mailing box, right? But we've got a lot of extra space. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the box down, hopefully get it right under two pounds and then meet that better rate and either send it through Pirate Ship Cubic or just send it uh, at the one, you know, under two pound rate. So let's see. All right, so let's see if we can get you a good view of this bad boy. All right, so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna cut the corners, right? So we're gonna go down to about where it's at. You wanna look right in here about the corner, right? So we're gonna go, boom, got them. Boom. Down about right here. Doesn't have to be pretty. Boom, all right. So that's step one. Step two, is going to be to fold this bad boy down and cut off a bunch of this extra flaps. These extra flaps are going to weigh it down. So we want to try to cut all of this off so that it's still under the two pound mark. So let's see. Oh, not good. Not good. So it's going to be over two pounds no matter what. All right. So let's see where we go from here. Now the shipping is going to be a little tricky, right? Before we do that, this little sale just came in. It was a Guitar Hero Explorer Red Octane Guitar. I just listed this yesterday. I only paid a dollar for it, and thankfully the guy is in Florida, right? So let's see as far as what we got going on with this now. So with the shoes, we got kind of out of luck in a couple different areas, right? First of all, two pounds was the weight. I'm gonna round up a little bit on the ounces. It doesn't matter because it's, it's by each pound. So if we could have been under, you know, let, let me give you an example, right? So if we could have been, where's the mouse? Come here. If we could have been, let's say one pound something, let me back out a little bit. Let's say instead of two pounds, let's say this was one pounds, 10 ounces. Again, the ounces don't really mean anything. It doesn't matter at this point. So let's go to calculate. So it goes from 1483 and it should go down to about 10 bucks. Yeah, 1054. So you automatically jump up four bucks because that package was, was basically an ounce over. Again, some people might just call it two, uh, you know, one pound, you know, 15 ounces, whatever, and just take the gamble. I don't like doing stuff like that. I like doing it the right way. I'm not really going to mess around. So we're going to go ahead and call that two pounds, four ounces. Again, the ounces doesn't really matter. And we're going to calculate, right? So just regular priority, it's giving me 1483. Of course, this is because it's going to California. California stinks as far as shipping goes. So now with the regional A, if you look, 11 and 16 by two and a half by 13 and a 16. So that wouldn't have, that wouldn't have worked. Our, our smallest dimension is six, right? So regionally, the other box was 10 and an eighth by 7 and an eighth by 5, so that definitely would not have worked. Regional B was 20 bucks, so we're not even going to look at Regional B. It would have fit in one of the boxes, but it's too expensive, right? So we're going to get off of that. Now, we could have also went to just regular priority, which is what we're doing now. So we have our box dimensions, 12 by 8 by 6, and it's 1483. So that's one of our, that's, that's, one, that's one route, right? Now, if we go to Pirate Ship, which is uh, an, easy, an easy website. It's free. An account there is free and easy. We put in all of our same dimensions. Um, it's basically going to be where are we at? It is. If I can get the mouse over here, boom. All right, so we're uh, 12 8 by 6, two pounds three ounces. Again, that part, the ounce part, doesn't matter. So right there, we're getting 14.79 at the cubic rate, and then just regular priority, they're giving us 14.93. So these are both basically the same same rate as what I'm getting priority. So we're already going to say, you know what, Pirate Ship, we don't need to mess with you today, right? Now there's another option. We could go FedEx. Now FedEx is always going to be cheaper the majority of the time for anything that's a couple pounds. Um, but depending on how far away they are, depends if I'll send it FedEx. So this guy, the cheapest rate 
is through FedEx Smart Post, right? So two to seven business days, he's in California, so it's gonna take those seven business days for sure, and it's gonna stop at 20 million places along the way. Yeah, I'm gonna save a couple bucks doing that, but it's gonna take a long time to get to the customer, and the customer more than likely will not be happy, and they will not leave good feedback like everybody else does about fast shipping. So I'm gonna skip that route, right? Then you've got home delivery. Home delivery has you at 1340. So it'll get there within five business days. I would have to take it to FedEx, which I have nothing else FedEx going out today, so that'd be a little bit of a pain. And it'd only save me about a dollar or so in change. So since I already paid 12 bucks for this, I got 60 bucks for the sale. The extra couple bucks isn't gonna matter to me because I used the USPS box, so it didn't cost me nothing. I didn't have to do anything else as far as packaging. Used a little bit of tape. So I'm not in it for a, a lot of money at this point. So I'm just gonna go regular, uh, regular priority, right? So we're gonna forget all the other stuff. We're gonna go just regular priority. We're gonna save this bad boy right here. And it's gonna cost us $14.83, which is, which is no big deal. Again, the profit margin is gonna be fantastic. Now, I highly recommend using a Rolo printer. That's what I use. That's this thing right here. And it is, whoa, there we go. It is absolutely fantastic. Takes up no space. Here are the labels for it. There's my dog. That's my dog. All right, so here are the labels, here are the labels for it. Here's the Rolo. So watch how fast this bad boy works, right? So a lot of times you gotta put on tape, all this other stuff. Watch, print, and then, uh, so easy, easy peasy, and that's all done. And again, it costs us $14.83. Not bad. Let's see how we do the other ones now. Now, as far as the gummies go, it's going to be relatively simple, right? It's going to be eight ounces, and we're going to go first class, right? So you'll have your little drop-down menu where you can pick priority. You can pick medium mail. Uh, yes, somebody asked me yesterday, is medium mail still a thing? It definitely is still a thing. First class, we're not going to do any priorities because that's for over a pound, so we're going to hit first class like usual. This is going to be the default if you set the listing up correctly eight ounces and if you look like if you go to seven ounces or six ounces six should be still be 349 yep seven still gonna be 349 so boom you go to seven ounces still gonna be 349 but the minute uh and then eight ounces with 349 but the minute you go to nine ounces it's gonna change down to 419 so that's what i'm saying something like let's say it would have been six ounces i could have put the postage it could well, let's say it was 6.4 i could have put it at eight ounces just to be on the safe side and it would have all been the same price that's what i was talking about earlier so we're just going to go to eight ounces and we're going to go to purchase. Now, what I was talking about earlier with the CD, right? So we're already at three ounces. Three ounces is giving us 266. When we weighed it, it was right at 2.9. Like we were pushing it. So if you go up one more ounce to make yourself safe, it's still the same price. So always look at that. Always give yourself extra postage. There's no reason not to. If it's going to be the same charge, just do it. Give yourself less problems. No sense in, in, in becoming within 0.1 when you can become within 1.1 and be safe no matter what. So, huh. Now with the game, we're in the same situation. It was right at 5. It was 5.0. So 5 ounces cost us 363, right? So now if we just go up one more ounce just to be on the safe side... The price is still the same it's 363 so i'm going to do that and that's it now you might be asking yourself what's the profit on this kind of stuff right these four things what kind of money did it make us all right so let's look the apple imac software if you look 24 let me see if i can get my there we go 20 oh boom 24.54 was a selling price 25 cents was basically what it cost me a dollar 51 was ebay's fees there was no promoted fee 101 was paypal it was 266 to ship 19 dollars was the profit so i spent basically a quarter to make 19 bucks nice next over we got let me get my finger out the way we got final fantasy right final fantasy 2487 my cost i was wrong my cost was actually 10 bucks on this this was a retail arbitrage game from uh, target uh, 228 was the eBay fee, 25 cents was the promoted fee, dollar two was PayPal, 363 was shipping, so 769 on that. So that one wasn't good. I spent 10 bucks to only make seven. Won't do that again. We have the uh, the mountain bike shoes. Those sold for 60. My cost was 12. 549 was eBay's fees because I do have a top rated plus store. Uh, it it kind of gives you a little bit of a discount on it. And then what else do we got? We got, where's my finger at? Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. And then 204 was PayPal. 1483 was the shipping. So 2564 was the profit. So I doubled my money. I basically spent 12 to make 25. Last but not least, we got the gummies. Those were 924 selling, uh, selling price, selling price. Uh, 0.85 was the eBay fees. My cost was zero on those. Nine cents for the promoted fee, 57 cents for PayPal, 349 for the shipping, 424 was the profit. So just on those couple items, we made 56.68. Not bad for uh, the first part of the morning. 
If you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you. Um, smash the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you're digging this style of video. I'll make more of them if so. I only want to make something that's informative and entertaining. So let me know what you think. Share it if you're feeling froggy and make that money.